Hi, I'm Banana Owns. You may know me from making some Halo montages and some crappy Let's Plays. Recently I watched the documentary The Smash Brothers and was inspired to take on Super Smash Brothers. But I'm absolutely terrible at the game. So I had an idea. Every week I'm going to put up a new video chronicling my progress with Smash Brothers. Hopefully by the end of summer I'll go from a scrub to an actual competitive player. I present to you the Scrub Diaries. Welcome to the first episode of the Scrub Diaries. Now I know what you probably all are thinking right now. Why the fuck is he playing Brawl? Well, this first four minute match is just going to serve as a little bit of an introduction to the series. So, if uh, pay attention to my intro, I watched the Smash Brothers documentary and was kind of really inspired to get better at Smash Brothers. So, me being the scrub that I am, I immediately started playing Brawl again. Uh, my copy of Melee is somewhere else, but I kind of figured, let's just let's just let's just try something here with Brawl. So, basically, in this game right now, I'm working on my spatial awareness with Marth, uh, and basically my ability to go off stage. See, that's like something that I notice a lot of these pros that they do is like they, they're not afraid to jump off stage to go chase someone so I'm trying to work on a bit of that sense and just get a better understanding of the reach of Mark's attack, the spacing so I'm bad at this so I'm playing against level 9 computers I don't have anyone to play with right now and frankly I don't think it'd be a good idea to play against other people right now not until I learn some basics so, like I say, you're probably thinking, like, why are you playing Brawl? This game is barely competitive at all. Well, as I was playing through Brawl, I recorded a lot more Brawl episodes, but I was playing through Brawl, and then I came across the Project M mod to make, basically, a Brawl more like Melee. So, me being the cool person that I am, I immediately downloaded the mod and got to work. So the next game that you're going to see in this episode is going to be Project M. So pretty much the rest of these videos are going to be in Project M. I decided I'm going to focus on Project M. Uh, there's wave dashing, L canceling, all that good fun stuff that I can barely do in Project M. But it's more competitive. So right now, you're going to see... how. This whole thing is just really a way to see how bad I am. Although that was a couple of good, you know, first two kills right there, and you know, get some up airs, some consistent up airs, and then the, for the first uh, stock, I managed to take him down with a very lucky uh, down air <laughs> with a down smash, which was, you know, kind of lucky. So now we're all tied up here, two stock to two stock. See if I can do something. Yeah. So basically, this game I recorded man was like after I hadn't played any sort of smash for like a really long time so I'm kind of I'm very rusty but uh, hopefully I can do a lot better in project M so right now I'm I'm deciding to main as Marth I'm still trying to find a character that's good for me now I've been reading some stuff here and I know I'm gonna be talking about project M is the little brawl things in the in the little, little corner of the screen, but about Project M, I, I've been hearing good things about Mario for beginning for beginner. Uh, Link is good for a beginner. Basically, a lot of these other characters, but and then to avoid Fox and Falco, they're really high learning curve. I I know it makes makes me kind of sad because uh, you, you watch those like matches of those crazy ass pros playing as Fox and Falco, and it's like you can barely understand what's going on. But, I think it's a little out of my skill level right now, for those anyway. So I'm down one stock to Wolf's two stocks, but I got him at 103, which means I can I can get a good smash on him. Oh, got a good, nice recovery there by, by the computer. Fucking PCs are so smart. And that's another thing I need to work on is my grabbing. Like, I pretty much never grabbed in any Smash game, really. And it's a, it's a pretty important part of making combos. Oh, I lost. And okay, here we go. 
now we're down to business. So we're in Project M here, which is pretty fucking amazing with what I've played with so far. It's amazing how much quicker the game moves when you start to revert back to the old melee speeds. Or I'm pretty sure someone's going to tell me that I'm, I'm wrong here. Like, oh, it's actually still slower than melee. You know what? I don't care. So, I'm still facing off against level 9 computer opponent in this match. Obviously, it's Fox. And I'm trying to see if I can get a good awareness with, with uh, Marth. So, right before I started playing Project M, I looked up some important things like uh, how to wave dash, uh, how to L cancel. So, especially considering like the, the progress of these videos, I am terrible at wave dashing right now. Um, even L canceling, I'm fucking terrible. I can do it some of the times, but not like every single time. So y you might notice that uh, you'll see me do like a single wave dash to like a C stick combo. And that's fucking like monumental to me right now. Like, it's crazy. So you notice I can, like that right there. Wave dash to see sick combo. See, I tried to do a Ken combo and knock him off stage, but I need to really look on like uh, some specifics about that. I think because you're supposed to tip him in, I think I got him with too much of like the center of the sword. So that's kind of what these videos are going to be about: is me going through some of my uh, games that I played the the week before. So in terms of how that's going to work, um, I think I've decided. To do at least three games a week recorded you know pick hand pick three games where i notice something great or notice like i'm doing something well not necessarily winning i i can still lose some of these games yeah so i'll pick three games a week where i am mostly notice something i'm doing well or at least it shows a sign of improvement maybe throw in one where i, I get my shit rocked just for added benefit and uh yeah, so I'm still trying to figure out what character I want to main, as I, as I kind of mentioned earlier on in, in this video. So Marth is really popular, I I noticed with the, and appears to be like a, a middle tier in terms of learning the character, not in terms of like how great the character is ranked, because I'm pretty sure Rip Marth is fucking ranked pretty high tiered. So in terms of a skill curve, I think Marth is uh, not a terrible choice for me, but uh, we'll, we'll see. I'll be trying some new characters in the, the oncoming weeks here before I really start to pick. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll find one that I really like playing as. So in this game, there, there's a few things you notice. You notice the, the single wave dash. <laughs> Every now and then I get an L cancel, that's right. And I also uh, learned that the C stick does smash combos. See, that's how much of a scrub I am. Up before this point, I uh, didn't really know that you could use the C-Stick, and that has made my smashes so much easier, and you already tell it's like a huge improvement. See, I'm trying to get timing right there, so Fox did the recovery, and I'm trying to get the timing there so can't even get back on the stage. Maybe I should try with a, to charge like a neutral B and kind of wait back a little bit to see if I can catch Fox like right at the very tail end of, of his uh, Firefox recovery move. Shout out to Firefox. Another thing, see, you notice I'm trying to do my dodges. Uh, I'm just trying to really set up combos. Because at this point, I haven't mastered L canceling, wave dashing enough to be able to do some ridiculous things. And by haven't enough, I mean like at all. So I, I can't really do any like ridiculous combos, so I'm just trying to learn how to string together a few hits. Which I think you can see I do like a, a dash forward, forward smash, and then dash and do the same forward smash, and you keep knocking them back and forth, and then jump and then do a smash in the air. That's been kind of like my sole combo right now, or you do the two forward smashes, uh, then yeah, two forward smashes, then a side smash. Like running forward smash on the side smash. See, I'm I'm gonna learn I'm gonna learn all the vernacular as I get better. See, like there. See, yeah, that was a great hit. I uh, then I got chased and got lucky because Fox used his recovery move and knocked me back up on stage. And that's another thing. I I, I keep mentioning um, learning 
my recovery because uh, Marth has a pretty bad recovery. It's not the greatest. You know, I don't have a lot of range with that. So it, learning where I can recover from and also the, the little tricks for extending the recovery, I think using the side B to kind of like halt your momentum and such. Now uh, we got a little text message here. So little little intermission here. So yeah, so learning spatial awareness, learning where I can recover from, learning how to not be afraid of jumping off in order to finish kill or to prevent them from recovering. And also learning timing on the recovery. So if, if I can catch Fox at the very tail end of a B, that'll be good. And for a lot of characters, very tail end of a B. That'd be a great thing as well. So you see, I, I'm, I'm not great. I'm hoping to learn and gotta fucking work on my grabs. I think I think that's a another really important thing. So wave dashing, grabs, L canceling, spacing, um, basically uh, going off stage, learning my full recovery like that. I easily could have recovered that. Got a little crazy right there. You know, try to show off a little bit too much. And then combos. Got, see, there's tons of things to learn. See, that was almost a good one, but you got the invincibility frame there, mistimed. It's a lot. Of, you notice a lot of my failures where I, it looks like I'm gonna get like a combo going, and then I mistime it. And that's on me. That's on me. Ho hopefully, it's uh, gonna turn out better. I think this Project M game is a lot better than the the Brawl game I just did in terms of like how I actually look. Of course, it's not that much better. But uh, it's it satisfied me to at least have this level of improvement in the same week just by l looking up some very basic things like uh, like using the C stick and learning a very basic wave dash and L canceling. Oh look at that was a good combo right there. A throw to a side smash with the C stick to a to another side smash to an air side smash. See I'm I'm. I'm gonna fucking piss off a lot of people because I barely know. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to learn all the vernacular here. But yeah, so that was a pretty decent combo, you know? Simple three hits. It's not like I'm gonna be getting like a, tw a 20 hit. Getting like a 10 hit combo, something ridiculous where I can take someone from zero to, to kill percentages pretty soon. Uh, it's not gonna happen, but something like that it makes me really happy to see at least that level of progress. See, they're mistiming by me, trying to, to knock him in the air. Let's see, that was a better, way better time. And also, uh, ledge guards. I think uh, that's another thing I need to learn. I, I think that kind of goes with being able to jump off the stage to pursue. It's being able to jump off stage in order to get that good ledge guard to keep them from recovering. So, you can hear me talking about this a lot so far. Uh, it's it's going to be a long road, so... I, my plan is to do this every week until September, and hopefully by the end of it, you'll there'll be like a really, really big progress here. And uh, you know, got the summer. Maybe uh, I know that there's a, a local Smash scene where where I live. It's very easy to find. I use the the Smash Brothers subreddit. It has links to find. I, I know there's actually a fair amount of people here around here so I, I'm kind of averse to going to, to tournaments right now because I think I'm going to get my shit rocked by anyone who who knows like 1% of what to do <laughs> but um, I'm going to be trying to, to work on it. Most important thing is learning the these basics uh, jumping off the ledge, wave dashing L cancelling platform basic combos ledge guarding, all the good stuff probably said something twice there who cares the most important thing is to get that fundamental basis standby before I really start focusing on playing against other players because I think I'm gonna you know try to, to run some smash tournaments this summer with my friends and hopefully hopefully dominate especially after all this playing so in terms of characters you can see my dodging's a little bit off. I think I need to get an actual, like, a new game cube controller. There's some points where you see me, like, use my shield, like, in really rapid succession. Uh, it's it's because I'm trying to... See, ooh, that, see, that was a good throw down there to side smash. Very, very basic combo, but uh, 
effective at high percentages. Yeah, so I think you need to get like another new GameCube controller <laughs> because uh, it's kind of looking sad. Like my my one kind of like the the control sticks weren't being as responsive as I want to. Sometimes I'd be trying to do my uh, side my side dodge and, and stuff like that, and it wouldn't move. It just it is kind of frustrating because I'm trying to dodge. But uh, with the announcement of the new GameCube controller adapter, and it looks like they're producing more GameCube controllers for the Wii U Smash. Hopefully they're actually like, I think it's actually like a GameCube adapter, so they're actual real-life GameCube controllers. Be able to get one of those for a pretty good price and not like a ridiculous amount. Kind of like right now, I think like 50 bucks for a GameCube controller. You may actually look that up on Amazon before I start making up shit. But uh, yeah, but it's it's good time. It's good times. So you can see in this game, it's actually a decent improvement. I'm actually kind of surprised how like how far learning little things like the C stick <laughs> goes. Oh there we go, there's a nice side smash. Let's okay, let's see here. No combo there. See that I need to learn how to be able to capitalize on stuff like that. Here you go another side smash. Oop to jump. Ooh to the side B. See there we go. There we go. Nice side B. see that was a pretty decent combo too. Couple couple side smashes, uh to a side B, to another side smash to, to finish him off. I'm, I'm not exactly the worst Smash Brothers player, but, you know, it's definitely not the, the greatest. But, uh, hopefully I get to have a lot of improvement over this time. Hopefully find a character. I think that's, like, a, my main thing, is finding a, a, a good character. One that I really like. So, I've been thinking about, I don't know what it is with keeping with a sword character, uh, uh, as I mentioned it before and during the last match, I, I, I really want to learn how to use like a Falco or a Fox, but Falco's has a very terrible recovery, and uh, it's a really high learning curve, especially because I want to be able to do some of those crazy combos. So I don't think I'm necessar not necessarily ready for that. So I think maybe I'm gonna try out Roy next. I know people argue about. Uh, <laughs> about Roy, you know, like, why well, use Roy when you have, when there's Marth, but I think, I, I was reading that Roy has a bit of an extra damage boost, so it, he can take out a little bit faster, and of course, there, you know, I think his his range isn't as great as Marth's, but I, I think at this point, I could use the the damage better. I was supposed to say, I think I could use the, the damage in a, in a much more great chance like a much more great chance i think damage would help me a lot more than trying to string together like ridiculous combos by being super fast so there we go up air let's see here oh another side air oh let him recover i probably should have did a neutral b right when he reached the apex of his jump because i would get him i think that would get him i know for roy that would work no i'm pretty sure for roy that would work we'll see in the next video i think i'm gonna try roy out in the, in the next week's video and see how that goes your failed test smash it went more 173%. So this one you may notice there's no timer. Um, I kind of forgot to put a timer. That's why this one's gonna probably this match is gonna be a lot longer than the other one. I'm just gonna end it. I think at 85. So first to 85. Got 173. So you can I do a wave dash? Nope. There we go. Side smash and get Fox. So God, Fox is so fucking fast. Fox kind of scares me. Oof, she's fucking trying to shine me. Let's see here. Oh, so you blocked a bunch of those those hits right there. Come on. Ooh, I'm getting fucking juggled. Okay. There we go. Get Fox. Oh, fuck. He fucked me up. See, that's what I'm hoping you're able to do, is do some ridiculous combos like that toward towards the end of these, where it makes me look like a pro. I mean, that's where the ladies come from, am I right? Ladies get everyone. I know Mewtwo King fucking loves ladies. Mewtwo, <laughs> Mewtwo King loves ladies. The ladies love Mewtwo King. My bad. They love that woot woot. Woot woot, raise your boot tay. That was a pretty bad joke. God, let's see. I need to get Fox like one more time. Hopefully I can I can do like a combo. Oh, got me. See, I, I don't know why. It, it's kind of a side effect of, using bra of playing Brawl a lot. Because it's a lot more... 
defensive game is I I use Roy's counter, I, Roy's counter. I use Marth's counter, Marth and Ike's counter a, a lot. Ooh, there's this nice side. Oh, but he got up. See, that's when I should have learned how to chase. But uh, oop, there you can see a failed Ken combo attempt there. Try to jump up to catch uh, him, but down, down a. Oh, we both took each other out right there. No, not too bad. Okay, so I think... Where were we both at? 87 or 86? Can't really fucking read it. So let's hear it. I think one more kill should, should do it. Oh, oh. Okay, I, I'm caught in a little, a little thing right now, so let's keep moving along. Okay, got... Ooh, in the 60s. Oh, Fox is gonna get me. Ooh, but I got the ledge guard. Oh, I let out too early. I was afraid I was gonna get hit with his up... With his up B. Oh, that was almost... That was almost pretty sick. So you just use my side B to make some uh, thing. Oh, and there we go to side smash. He's going to get up. Nope. And there we have it, guys. I'll see you next week when we try out Roy. So hopefully that works out. Boom.